folks, this is Tyrone from New England Truth. We are back here for the third or fourth time. I came a little bit better prepared for my encounter as I have my phone off to my side. So we're going to talk to uh, the major today. Hopefully we can find a major today because the captain was the one we had a problem with here at this location. We were told FOIA request would be available. So we are going to pick that up. We came here once. And they didn't have it. I'm not going to the police station itself this time. I'm actually going to the New York State Thruway Authority. And we're going to try and see if we can locate those documents there. I think they're there. Uh, the email I got, which I have in my hand this time, will express that it's supposed to be here by that records division leader so again accountability transparency education awareness that's what we're doing no matter what it is it's bringing some awareness people are smiling people know and then of course there's people who don't like it I wonder why uh oh I see a bang up uh oh I see a little bang up a little boo boo here folks it is 132 Thursday, June 6th. My name is Tyrone. How you doing, folks? Doesn't look fresh. I see rust, but uh, maybe within a month or so. And again, uh, there was a lot of cars in the other parking lot. And look how many are on this side, too. And they're always in those two, three, three there, two there, three there. One banged up over there. All right, so Albany Division, New York State Thruway. Oh, look at that one. These must be the banged up cars or broken cars. Or... Oopsie doodle. You got T-boned. So here's where you are, folks. Another effort at getting our FOIA request uh, from the New York State Troopers. Well, it makes you wonder, how did that happen? Looks like that sideswiped something. Did that trooper fall asleep? Was he drinking? I think it doesn't happen. I would suggest you pay attention. Alright, I'm gonna pull up that email and get prepared. Alright. Let's see if you guys can see that. Probably not. All right. I can't ask them legal questions. They won't answer that. That makes sense. But it does say anything that I have for police reports will be located at this junction. All right. We already went to the police department. So now we're going to come over here. If not, we're going to ask for a major. And we will be doing a first on the audit at the same time, I guess. Sign in, sales and vendors on appointment, no smoking, little map. All centered. Division Director, 7th Floor Maintenance Engineering, Bridge Engineer, Construction Manager, Administrative Office. Okay, 
That's probably where we're going to need to go. Oh, I don't think we have anything down here. Although this all looks public, they got nice displays for people to read things. So, shouldn't be a problem. Straight off, it's good. I'm sorry, man. Who are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, who are you? No, I'm sorry, who are you? No, excuse me, who are you? I'm with the New York State Thruway. Who okay, are you I'm with? glad you're with the Thruway. Can, yeah. you, can I come so close to me, sir? You're uh, I'm, back I'm, off on my phone, somebody. You're fine? I'm fine. How, who determines that, you or me? Legally. If you're. If Legally, who determines I'm that? I'm asking you who you Legally, are. Legally, in a court of law. Yeah? Who determines that? The judge. You need to Thank watch you. your approach and your disposition, sir. No, I'm fine. Thank I'm you. a member of the public. Mm hmm. And very this, successful at what I do. Yeah, and this is a I would be very cautious. It's not private. Tell me where it says private, sir. Look. I came in here, New York State's Rural Authority. I've met six you people. I've said hi to people. They've been place. friendly. Mm -hmm. Nothing says no filming, no recording. Mm -hmm. uh, you have displays out for people to read, which I'm, I'm actually looking at because I have a, a purpose here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I have an intent. Here? I don't know who you are, and I don't talk to strangers. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm asking you who you are. Uh, when, I, when I get to the, to the office that I want to get to, I'll, I'll ask the questions. And you don't you approach me and say, what are you doing, who are you, and come up like that. And, who are and you then want me for, to respect sir? you. And who are you looking for, sir? I don't want to talk to you, sir. I'd okay. rather you go away. Okay. And I would rather you leave the premises. Yeah, good luck with that. So, construction administrator. Here we go. All right. Ma'am, I was told to come here. I have an email. I'd like to read that, please. I'm so sorry. I'm not, I don't want to cause any problems. That's not what I'm here for. Um, and, and I'm having a problem getting it, so I'd, I'd like to know if you could help me. This is not on, by the way, and this is not pointed toward you, but I'd like that information. Is that your boss? Is that why? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I put you in now. I'm so sorry. I understand the situation. Sorry. All right, so folks, here we go. I'm trying to get a FOIA request. I've got this individual here. I guess he's the boss. He's, uh, You're got looking a, for a foil. He's got a bad disposition. No, I don't. And I'm his approach you. is completely unprofessional. I'm merely asking. And you are what talking you are to a for. professional. So. And I'm asking you. What right, can I guess you we're going to have with. to go, because. Is there something we can help you with? That's well, now you want to be professional after you inappropriately approach me. So I'm no, going to ask I you where, where do I get a foil? Yes, you did, sir. It's on camera, and then people will agree. Okay. All right. the thousands of people who watch this over the world, trust me. You'll be analyzed more than just me. I want to know just what you're after, so we can help you. Want to read it? May I? Sure can. Thank you. I've never already been here once for this, and they said no, they don't have it. Over in this building? No, I went to the troopers' barracks. Okay. So a FOIL request has a FOIA, to come through. or a FOIL? I'm sorry, they call it FOIL in New yeah, York. Yeah, a I'm FOIL, sorry. a FOIL. I'm sorry. Freedom of Information I, I law. Practice law in two other states, not New York. Yep. yep. Well, it's right here, FOIL. I did. I know. I know. It's just weird. I, okay. It was FOIL, all right? right? So all of this stuff comes from our administrative headquarters building. Yeah, I've been there. Which is the large building that's the three-story building that's across the parking lot. Okay. So that's where this stuff here okay. goes, sir. So I went there, too. Okay. This is the third location I've been to. Okay. And nobody seems to help me. And the response that I got was, you know, not only are they not going to tell me the specific laws, which I can look them up, obviously, but they won't give me the information. Well, the state police bears can't do it, so it comes. Our FOIL requests go through our legal department over in our over administrative there. headquarters. Do you know? Do a name or contact or floor or number or that so I don't get lost over there? And well, you see the guard up front uh -huh. when you when you walk in the door. Yes, yeah, exactly what I did. Yeah, and and, and and tell him you want to request for information <laughs> under the Freedom of Information. He said they don't have them. The guard tells you you don't have them. No, he told me that there's no place where I can get this information there. No, he okay. went around. He asked somebody. He did make yeah. an effort. Typically, it was very professional. Typically, what happens is you submit the request to the authority yep. through our through our public yep. information office, I did. Yep. to which goes through our legal office, yep. and then they respond to that request. And I did go up and meet with the couple of the the captain up at the state headquarters. I met with him. The, Ka the, Ka Ka Kana Kana Detective Kana. Ah. Nice guy. Okay. Met with him too. Okay. Uh, very, very helpful. But again, he told me that you know he doesn't know what to do either at this point because nobody can find the actual documents, the the police reports, the police reports. incident reports, incident whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure with state police because the state police are dealt with either through our troop in headquarters, which is the building that I said told you about, mm -hmm. or they're dealt with division of state police. Right. I'm going to go back over there so one more the, time from the throughway side. Yeah. 
for state police matters, mm -hmm. we refer everything to state police because that's how we deal with it. I, I, I'm going to leave you alone because you seem like a nice guy now, and I don't want to be can carry this out. But well, I want to ask you, know, you a question. I just I just want to come back and say sure. I didn't invade your personal space. Okay. It's just how it felt to me. And my perception fine. is you have you know, your perception, yeah. and, and I have mine and, through and, that process. And nothing happens. But I'm so. here to help you. No problem. Try to get what you need. Uh, we well, don't have what you need here. Right, and I got that. But let me. Do you know anything about the laws as it pertains to this highway entrance right here? The actual physical law? No, yeah, I do not. You do not. Okay. All right. I do not. All right. Because I'm, I've gotten so many opposing. It's, they leave some ambiguity in there that's concerning for me. I went to wanted to go get help and. Trying to get instead of getting help, I got thrown off the property when mm -hmm. I just wanted help at that state troopers barracks from the state troopers. Mm -hmm. I thought I was being followed, and, I'm, and I was live. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, sure. I don't know the situation. I, if I, I want to, if I'm breaking the law, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I want to mm -hmm. figure out the law. All right, I'm going to head over there. I okay. thank you for your time, sir. What's yep. your name again? My name is Joe. Joe Tyrone. Nice to meet you. All right, so we're going to go over to the gray building again, which if you're Remember, uh, during the live interview, or the live broadcast, I went all the way over there and spoke with uh, the attendant in front. I did not post that portion of it because nothing happened. He said, no, we can't help you. All right, well, we're going to go back over there. Probably turn this off or cut out, cut out this boring part. I don't want to take up too much of... Uh, the gigabyte space there. But the guy did come off a little hard. He came right up in my space. You know, I, I, why do you have to put your foot down to get that level of respect? Why do you have to, you know, why, why should we be, have to be in that precarious position where asserting our rights means we could get in trouble? Yeah, we got a, we got a guy here concerned about the recording apparently. Uh, we're gonna get him a talk to. Let's see if he wants to engage us. We need help, anyways. So make sure we're to the right place. New York Street Trooper, in my opinion, violated my civil rights. Small infraction, but worthy of acknowledgement. Scooted away. Probably coming from back behind or something. I don't know. Trying to be cool. Oh, he's behind that gray thing. Hi. We are wearing actually a press pass today. And we are in full regalia. Actually, let me show you. So it's not like we don't look like we're here for some, oh, maybe professional attack. I don't know. If I'm in construction clothes, maybe not. Maybe I'm here to work. I don't know. If I were an officer, you're going to judge people by those kinds of things. So. I don't know. Doesn't seem like I'm getting any more, any more level of respect though. So, I talked about white privilege uh, in the last video, and I think that's that's a real thing. So that's why I try to exploit it and use it to bring out the fact that there's white privilege. <laughs> and I am white. Anyways, here we are, folks. Got a big boy wants to mess with us. This guy. He's gonna get out of his parlor. And he's just sitting there, not doing anything. Uh oh, here we go. You guys ready? A lot of cars. Oh man. Can I help you? I didn't ask for any, did I? Did I ask for help? No, they called oh, okay. me because you were in the, one of the buildings over there. What you were looking for. See, they call, like, oh, no. and I appreciate that. And I appreciate your approach, by the way. Uh, originally, if you approach me <laughs> in a certain way, you're going to get a whole different side of me. 
but your approach is perfect. Um, and I hope that that's real and not passive aggressive. And even if it is, keep acting as if because it works. And that's when you learn to, to keep that, right? In, in, in the midst of challenges that don't deserve too much force, that much force, okay? Anyways, I went over there. Yeah, I'm looking for something. And uh, I met an individual at the second floor. I was fine. I was saying hi to everybody. No problems. On the second floor. And he really came up to me a little aggressive. Again, approach. Uh, I've managed thousands of people in my life, huh? Uh, I'm very familiar with how you approach a situation has a direct impact on the outcome, okay? So, I called him out on it. But then everything was fine, I shook his hand. It's all on video. I don't know why you would even have to come out and waste taxpayer dollars for something that was so congenial and comfortable at the end. And they actually gave me direction and assistance to find something that I'm looking for. So, uh, again, it seems, oh, what's your name, sir? Sir, uh, Casabella? Yes. Casabella. And your badge number, sir? 964. 964, thank you for being professional. Um, but I do this all the time, so, okay. and I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're probably aware of that based on the regalia that I have on. Yes. I'm sure you can assess that pretty quickly. Uh, I'm also a professional on it. This is not uh, for fame or fortune. Okay. This is passion. Anything My lights were violated by a, by a police officer one time. Anything and, I can help you with or help you find? Well, sure, if you want to, you can take a look at this. That's what he did, and he couldn't really help me. But I've already been to all these buildings. This is the third time I've been to that, to the state troopers barracks. First time there, and this will be the second time here. So, you know, turn it sideways, you're probably gonna read it. There you go. Help yourself. Don't feel uncomfortable. Uh, we might have to minimize it a little bit there. So you're looking to make a photo oh. request? Yeah, well, I'm picking up one. They said it's here. Okay. This is uh, the yeah. letter you're... from your guy. He said he can't give me legal information, of course, but that uh, all the incident reports of that day and events are going to be located at the barracks. And if you read the verbiage, it says at the barracks. I went to the barracks. Uh, again, a professional officer over there, too, about me. I went live that day on my channel, and he was very professional, but no information given. So I'm back again. And I thought maybe it was that building I should have went into. Because that's what the, I told, talked to your... Are you looking for the throughway foil people or the state police? Well, I would be looking for whatever one that guy, whoever this guy works for. That was a state police headquarters I went to when I met with the Kana, it's uh, captain, the captain up there. Is there a major over here? Right now? There is. I don't is know he if him? he's here now. Okay. I need to speak with him. That's what he wanted me to do. Okay. He said talk to the major. Go in and ask to speak to the major. But before I did that, I wanted to see if I could do my due diligence. And if they're here or there, I just want to pick them up without having to go back on that property unless I have to, you know? All right. Um, so is that, do you want to go for the foil people or are you looking for the major? Uh, both. Which one would you like to do first? first? I want the FOIA, if I can get it. The FOIA, FOIA, okay. excuse me, FOIA. Yeah. And I, I didn't read the letter, oh. so is it from the state police or is it from the throughway? Uh, that, and I can read you the name because I guess I didn't know there was a distinction here. Uh, let's see. His name is... This is not the guy in, that I interviewed. This is just the guy who wrote this letter. His name is Major Frank Kayas, the Central Records, Central Records Bureau. Kaiser? Kaiser? Kaiser. Okay. Major for Kaiser. Okay, that's our state police division headquarters. Okay. Um, that's over at... Um, I've been there twice. Yeah, so you know where that is? I've already been there twice. Okay. So they, they, that letter said for me to go to the barracks. It says right in the letter, go to the barracks. All the information you need will be located at the barracks at the junction of... I mean, it actually... What information are you looking for? The incident report from the day of the letter that I wrote to the for the... For the FOIA request, I had a date on it and specifics about what information I wanted. Okay. I was thrown off the property. I was. I thought somebody was following me, and I said, "Oh, well, there's a state trooper over there. Over there, I'll just walk over there. I'll be safe there." And I'll ask them if you know. And then when I before I got there, somebody threw me off the property, and I said, "Wait a minute! I just want to go there. I'm right there. Let me just walk there." Mm -hmm. So you're looking for a report. And then I came back, the and the incident, captain threw me off. Your of boss threw me off. From that day. Both days. Okay, so we're talking about more than one day. Mm -hmm. um, there was five or six officers. There was four that followed me out. I have it all on film. 
Uh, obviously, I have multiple uh, angles in some cases. I guess that's what I'm asking is, are you looking for the report of that incident on the day when you said some people threw you off the property? Can I help you, sir? Who are you? Field training officer. Your, your name, sir? Natali. Natali. It's a little intimidating when you roll up on somebody like this and you're in your uniform. Just wanted to make sure he you know that it's set. three or more based on the Constitution for an intimid intimidation tactic. It's against the law. I'm not trying to intimidate you. Section 18. I'm not trying to intimidate 1983, you. 241, 242. I'm not trying to intimidate you. No. Okay. Let's I'm be careful saying. with that, okay? Because it can be intimidating, is what I'm saying. I'm not intimidated. Trust me. I am not intimidated. But there can be people who are. I'm not intimidated. Okay. You might want to park correctly or, you know, be appropriate. Looks kind of awkward, you know. Thank you. Sorry. You all set? I want to get my. I'm all set, thanks. Yeah, we're just having a conversation. Thank you. I want to get the FOIA request if I can. Or the incident reports, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Okay. It's not FOIA, it's FOIL, excuse me, in New York. I, so, I, I practice law in two other states, not this. So there was, so just so I get this straight, there was an incident, mm -hmm. and then you tried to get information on that incident, and, were, and you were thrown off the property. Again. So you're not looking for. Any Twice. kind of an incident report regarding when you were thrown off the property? Yeah, no, exactly. When I was thrown off the property, I want the incident report from those police officers. What happened? Why they felt they need to throw me off the property when I was asking for assistance? Yeah, I don't this, know if there's going to be an incident report regarding that. Well, we're going to have a problem because uh, if you don't make an incident report uh, per request, then that means that you're not prepared in a court of law when I get you in a court of law. Well, just because it's not written down, it doesn't mean they're not. Prepared. Then you're going to make it up, and this is on film. You saying that it might not uh, be done. You're you're providing ambiguity in a court of law. You're saying in a court of law on film right now that it may or may not be done. This is what I don't like. You're just talking to you. I'm, we're not having a hard time. You and I. I mean, if we were having a hard time, I could understand. You call for backup. Well, you know, it's intimidation. Stop it. Oh my God! Look at right on my. Man, don't come up on somebody's back like that, man. Don't ever do that. You understand me? Behind you. Don't. Did you announce behind you? Did you say behind you like you're in a restaurant I business? Up to you. Did I hear it? Apparently I didn't hear it, sir, because I'm over here and I'm concerned about it. Do not walk up on behind somebody. Let me tell you something. You're causing a volatile situation when it's very calm. Very calm. We're just talking. He's a great guy. Don't act like that. Not every person you got to get all hostile with and take them down and tase them and do everything just because they won't answer your freaking questions. Okay, pal? You're new, right? You're new, right? Bring in a new culture. Don't follow the same path. Don't be a scumbag. What's the matter with your back? How the hell are you going to chase somebody? You're going to tase them and kill them, aren't you? Yeah, you're just going to shoot them. I, I appreciate my troopers. I do too, but I do not want them coming up on my back. I appreciate my troopers back. Protecting you. Up. Of course you do. So I of course you do. I don't appreciate you calling them scumbags when well, they're trying to help me. He did not respond to me correctly. Sure that, we want to make sure that we're he tried all to say that he said behind you. No. That's all they're doing. No, he's in, that's an intimidating, I know exactly, I volunteered I with the Colony New York Police Department. I've been in the side of these cars many times. I know exactly Listen, the tactics and why you do the things you do. I, I know your, why he's there. I had your back. I know I you he did. Was there. But he my was thing, threat, I would have let you know. As an activist, I'm going to now so make that point on film so that everybody sees that I'm making that point. It's not just about you and I here. It's a greater purpose. There's more people involved. All right, let's try to focus on what we're here for. You got it. So, I don't believe that, um, that there's any records of... Uh, what you're looking for. Okay. Um, you're certainly welcome to file some sort of a FOIL request. I did already. To see if there's any records. I already did. I mean, if there's any record. It, so you know. that's a runaround as a pedestrian, as I mean, as a civilian. If I felt like I was violated, which I really do, because I did not go there with any hostility that day, okay? I didn't. I went there congenial and understanding and an individual before I even could say anything. All I said was, hi. You can't come in, you're getting off my property. All right, that's inappropriate. That's a state trooper's barracks. How can a, a civilian not go to a state trooper's barracks and make a complaint? You're probably aware that your reputation precedes you. Uh-huh. So whether or not you went there with hostility, you did go there with a purpose. Sure. Um, Somebody was following me. And I made that very clear to them. I, I and then they came back to make a complaint and they as, threw me as off. As you said, the people that were following you from, mm -hmm. were from the other agency that you had already been to. Uh, I believe it was the FBI or Homeland Security. It was. Yeah. So. And that doesn't, they don't intimidate me either. So, obviously I'm not intimidated by anybody or anything. I think that's very clear in my videos. I want one thing, one thing only, that's the truth. Okay? Honesty. 
integrity. And that's not what I got. Because if you watch my videos, I'll say take the last 10. 50% of them are positive audits for the, for the police departments. Passes, shaking their hands, great job, man. 50% of them are also fails, okay? Out of the last 10 audits, if you look at them on my, on my side, okay? But if you did, yeah, I, I I'm gonna tell you something. 50% are passes. Now, why do they have to be so high that they're fails? 50% is a terrible number, sir, in any business. 3% is, oh, you go, 3 to 5%, that's it. 50%. And I approach the situation every time the same way. Articulate, professional, clear, concise. So how can we make this positive today? I want to meet that major now. If you don't have the information I want in writing, I want to meet that major. I can see if we can do that. And if I need to come back another day, time, I will do that too. Okay. I, met, I had a long lead with Craig Apple and his cohorts. And If you could just step over here so that we're not in traffic, I'll sit in my car. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll walk over. A, I'm just going to walk around. If, if you don't mind, what? just so you're safe and so people don't have to go between us? I'm not going to. I'm going to walk around and film and narrate on, on without side, hearing. On the sidewalk would be best. I'm just saying it I first. can't walk on the grass? It's against the law? No, no, please don't. Hey, please don't. You know, I'm going to respect that just because you said please. All right, so we are involved with an individual who is saying that. Um, yeah, I'm not fucking. I'm walking. Road. I don't care. Saying that they don't have the information. How is that possible? How can you not have the information? All right, so I'm going to just walk through here. I want to get these flags. They look really cool. Okay, kind of bent up, tilt a little bit there. That's where I. Uh, there we are, folks. And I'm gonna head back over to this officer, see if that major is in, or what kind of information he found. I don't like people giving me directions. Uh, yeah. I should be able to do what I want to do, unless I'm breaking the law. Don't tell me what to do, but he's being nice, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of leeway, but that's about it. Uh, this guy wasn't too bad, but you know, he's talking about me blocking, but he, he's actually blocking this. He could park that car over there. Uh, he doesn't have his emergency lights on. So if I wanted to critique him, I think he's making more, there's more violations on his part than mine. He's in a parking lot, but still. If you're going to impede the, or restrict the mobility of the other vehicles in any way, I think you should have that on. Uh, if you're on a call, which he is on a call, that also would fit into that narrative. But just my opinion. And against, I guess uh, I have a reputation already. You know, I shouldn't have to have a reputation. Why can't I have a reputation that says that I'm just a good guy? You know? Well, this guy's one of the bosses and he's uh, driving one of the crappier cars. So maybe he smashed his own. Where, where, where is his car? I don't think this is his car. I think he might have smashed his or something, or he just grabbed into it real quick. Because since 1917, they've been serving, it says on this license plate. Car running, air conditioner on, windows open, it looks like. Yes, it sounds like the air conditioning unit was compressor was, or the unit was running there. New York State Police not doing the right thing. Asked for a FOIA request, got nothing. Gonna have to fill out the complaint. You know, and I'm trying not to do that uh, because those are useless and it's just a waste of time. But you know, I thought I'd. Avoid they just get the FOIA request and head, head, head in that direction, you know, but I don't know. You know, the only recourse is to start filing out complaints, and that goes on people's records. And even though I do this, the last thing I want to do is actually negatively impact something that you guys know as a standard for 20, 30, 40, whatever. You know what I mean? It's about change, and it's not always fair to you guys. Your policies are pit up against people's 
uh, expectations of freedom. So I don't want to go that route. I don't want to fill out complaints. So I already have them. You're looking to speak to the major. Yes, please. He is not here. Okay. He's going to be on special detail until the 17th. So your best bet is to give his secretary a call mm -hmm. on the 17th and make an appointment to see him, and he will see you. Very good. Do you have a business card or his business card or a phone I number? Do not. You guys don't don't I carry business write, cards. I can write it down for you. His phone number or the secretary's number? Yes. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Okay. I have a hard time finding you guys' phone numbers for some reason. Right. So he's going to help us out and give us uh, the phone number. That's, that was nice of him. You know, I did see a police officer uh, helping an old lady with her tire the other day. It almost brought tears to my eyes. I'll be honest with you. And then. Five minutes later, I saw an officer helping a stranded motorist. Stranded motorist. Backing him up, making sure he's out of it. So, it's not like the service isn't needed or wanted. It's the type of service and how it goes off course. But there are good cops. I've seen them all the time. And I really hate when people think that uh, all cops are bad, and I, and I, I know a lot of comments are re related to that, and I get really angry. Uh, I mean, what are you going to do with a lawless uh, society? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Fend for yourself? Expect the weak to defend for themselves? That's what I think police officers are here a lot of times, is to help the people that are less fortunate than they should be. So, we got a little bit of an audience over here. Get them in the frame. Oh, look at how they scatter. <laughs> the scattering roaches. Look. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Wow. They just ran like roaches. Ran like flies. Good day, John. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay. His secretary's name is Jill. That's her phone number. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. You're busy. I'll let you go. You've been awesome. Anything else I can help you with? You have a good day, sir. All right. You too. Bye -bye. All right. So we are going to take off. Again, another day, no results, which is why I didn't go live today. So, no results once again. No major, no police reports, no incident reports. Yeah, we'll do what we gotta do. We'll keep it up, keep it going. Don't know the truth, sign out. Talk to you soon, folks. Have a good day.